on in. What's up? What's good? What's pop? What's crack? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to it. I'm glad you asked that question. You know what? I'm so glad somebody finally asked that question. Yes, I'm so glad somebody asked that question. Episode of I ain't saying, I'm just saying what the right information is. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you do not like, leave a constructive comment. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe, comment. The motivation, the inspiration for this video is really it's Mr. Ray Smith and the question that 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 he just asked in regards to the latest video that I that I just posted. Shout out to you, Mr. Ray Smith. Thank you so much for believing in me. Shout out to you also, Grand Madam Tarot. Thank you for rocking with me, believing in me. Thank y'all so much. Uh the question. And this in regards to a comment Mr. Smith made. He, he stated uh, how Jeremy Slater was able to draw a, a line in the sand. And he also touched on how uh, Natalie Portman did the same thing. She didn't like the way Jane was being portrayed. And if anybody knows the way, knows Jane Foster in the comics and how she was being portrayed in the MCU, she really was being portrayed in the MCU as basically a throwaway character. Like, how she... The love interest between her and Thor, like that was the that that was that was dead ass. That was real. Marvel never explored it. Like nothing. Like nothing of any sentiment whatsoever. So she drew a line in the sand and Thor Love and Thunder, she comes back as 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 Thor. You know, whether you want to call it Lady Thor, Thor is totally up to you. But Mr. Smith's question was, why is it that everyone else gets what they want after voicing their complaints, but we are being ignored? He said that's a rhetorical question. Some of y'all might know, some of y'all might not know. Might be like it's a rhetorical question. But I'm going to sum it up. And the, 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 the sad truth about why we aren't getting what we want why we aren't even being acknowledged is because this is because T'Challa is a black character. I know some of y'all gonna be like, eh, eh, eh. no. The answer is that simple. Now it's loaded. We can unpack it, but the answer really is that simple: it's a black character, the black character. No different than Storm is the black character. The alpha, the omega, the female, the male, the yin, the yang. It's, it's T'Challa and Aurora. This character represents the best in everything that you can think about. Aside from his father being murdered. He grew up in a loving home. There is no hood story associated with this. And we need to understand something. There was a reason why J. Edgar Hoover targeted the FBI. There was a reason why when you look at the murders of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, they failed in the order that they failed. Propaganda imagery representation Luke Cage was locked up Sam Wilson James Rose they work for the man some of us do look at it that way because we don't respect the United States military we don't respect the police and any of us that join up with those we are viewed as outcasts that's just part of our culture we respect the dude that went to jail before we respect the dude that joined the military or went to college. Don't, don't, don't question that because there's way too many of us proud to be niggas and bitches and will not think twice about calling ourselves kings and queens like we prefer to call ourselves niggas and bitches. Even though, watch this, nigger 
whether you use an E, R, or A, ends with the same letter that brother does, whether you're using it with the E, R, or the A. And watch this. It's two syllables. Nigger, brother. Brother, nigger. Guess which one we prefer to use? Right. Those are words that T'Challa is not going to utter. You can't even use him in his presence. As a matter of fact, nobody in his kingdom is going to utter those words. Nobody. His character's black. And some of y'all don't, don't mention it, but if you are, are leading these, the recast T'Challa movement, you've seen these message boards up here. Some of these people have said very ignorantly or stupidly, because it's two different things, to Charlie, ain't that important? If you mention Superman, Clark Kent, Batman, Bruce Wayne, they'll tell you he ain't as important as him. He don't matter. Now here's the sad part: it's bad enough that they say it, we say it too. <laughs> That's the sad part. See. They get what they want because they know the damn canon of their characters. And when they go to Marvel and they say, ah, 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 guess what? The fans know. The, that's why I was like, when the, when the Jewish dude hit, bro, don't get mad at me. You know your character. You fist to go to Marvel and say, oh, we're not going to do that. Now watch this. It's Jewish people that work for Marvel that give a damn about the Jewish character. It's Asian people that work at Marvel that give a damn about the Asian character. Watch this. If they don't tighten up, they finna piss off. They finna piss off fans of Kamala Khan if they don't tighten up. Cause that community, <laughs> that community is feeling some type of way. Cause they know the character. But watch this. They not finna mess with them. They might. They not finna mess with them for a whole plethora of reasons. Oh, good God Almighty! And 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 y'all can be mad, or whatever. Some of them reasons are justified. Some of them reasons not justified. But they not finna mess with them. They know the content. They know the character. They know the damn character. It's way too many of us that don't know the character speaking like we do know the character. Mad at folks that know the damn character. Like, how you mad? You should want somebody that looks like you. If you don't know about the character, you should be able to go to them and get information about the character. But watch this. And I get it. It's like I was telling my friend Gab. I get it. I understand the slave trade. I do. I get it. I get why the southern states wanted to own slaves. I get it. I understand it. I don't agree with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all need me to say that one more time. I get it. I understand why the South wanted slaves. I do. I don't agree with it. What do I mean when I say that? Listen, y'all anti recasters, I get why you don't want to child recast. And I'm finna tell you why. Some of y'all racist. Slide that on over there. The rest of y'all, you just stuck in your damn ways. And you know why you stuck in your damn ways? Because you don't want to do no research. And here's why you don't want to do any research. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I know why. You don't want to find out that you're wrong. You don't want to sit and watch a video that's going to prove you wrong. You don't want to sit and read something that's going to piss you off. I know I have to do it all the damn time. <laughs> do you know what it's like to be a, a to, to do what we do? What we do? What we do? I say we do. And the artists, I, I can't even say influence. I'm talking about the ones that get down into it. Do you know what we have to go through to do what we do? We have to literally remove our emotions from every damn thing on a daily damn basis. That's why people don't understand. We try our best to just stay calm because some of the stuff we got to read, we don't want to read it. We got to overcome that obstacle first. We don't want to read it. Then we got to sit down and pressure ourselves, lower our temperature because we might read something we don't like that's going to turn our stomach, that's going to piss us off, but we still got to read it. So we push through. That's difficult. That's hard. Y'all don't want to do that. That's why y'all keep coming on these posts saying some dumb stuff because you don't want to do it. 
you can get proven wrong at every damn turn and you perfectly fine being loud and wrong. Like that, that dead ass. Being loud and wrong. How the hell you want to be loud and wrong? Then you get to the point where it ain't even about the actor no more because you telling the actor's family to kiss your ass on every damn post you get, every comment you get. I don't even know about the brother. What about the wife? The wife wasn't with him. He was mad. He was with Letitia. That was his, that was, he was, not Letitia, my bad. I'm sorry, Miss Miss Wright. He was with Letitia. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's where y'all at. <laughs> Won't put, won't pick, won't do no damn research. How you stupid using a smartphone? How you ignorant using a smartphone? There should literally be no damn way. You are literally using a device to make dumb, ignorant ass comments when you could be using that same damn device to do some research so you could make some intelligent comments. But you don't want to. And like I said, I understand why. I I don't want to tell you who all YouTube channels I'm subscribed to, and I don't want to be. <laughs> I can't tell you how many videos I just sat through and watched and listened, and I did not want to. <laughs> I can't tell you how many sites I done went to and read information that I did not want to be. <laughs> But that's what you do when you take this stuff serious. As I've said before, it's not about being wrong. It's not about being right. It's about being accurate. And you anti-recasters don't give two dams about being accurate. It's as long as you cannot be wrong and be right. That's all you care about. It's way too damn obvious. But you wouldn't do that if his character was white. That's the same as all. You wouldn't do that if his character was white because people would give two dams about this character if this character was white. If this character was white, this character would have been pushed a long time ago. This character is commercially appealing. This character has showed up in video games since the PlayStation 3. This character has been in comic books since 1966. This character has shown up in too many iterations of cartoons. If you watch Spider-Man and his amazing friends back in the day, the one that came on Fox, he popped up in it. He has. You know why? Because he's commercially appealing. He's profitable. He'll make money for Marvel. In every fashion, every form that they can push him out there, the character, T'Challa, is profitable to Marvel. So he's important to Marvel. But he's also important to black people. They know it. And those who don't want you to ever see yourself as a king or queen. Because he's black. Because you don't know no better. Because somebody else over here going to be malicious. That's why we can't give what we want. Or at least, that's why we having the damnedest time trying to get it. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Great question, Mr. Smith. Ooh, I, I've been wanting to answer that question. <laughs> I've been wanting to get into that ass and break that damn thing down like that. Pause. I ain't, yeah, pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> pause. 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 I ain't saying that.